When your body is ovulating, it's normal to have some symptoms. However, only a very small percentage of women experience all the symptoms of ovulation. In today's video, we'll be discussing what these symptoms are, the science behind them, and where to turn if you're not seeing any of them. Hi, I'm Dr. Sherazad. As you probably know, your body releases an egg at one point during your menstrual cycle, a process called ovulation. The ovulated egg is able to be fertilized for a window of 24 to 36 hours. Pregnancy happens only if the sperm is present in the body when the egg is released. Sperm lasts for four to five days. That means you're fertile five days before you ovulate and one day after ovulation. So how do you know when you'll ovulate? Well, ovulation occurs at different times for different women, or even different times for the same woman. 46% of cycles vary by over seven days depending on your body's unique hormone patterns. But how do hormones determine ovulation? There are two dominant hormones during your cycle. Estrogen is dominant during the first half of your cycle, the phase before ovulation. Progesterone is dominant in the second half of your cycle, the phase after ovulation. There are some key symptoms that occur when the estrogen in your body begins to rise. Estrogen levels are low in the beginning of the cycle and start to rise three to four days before ovulation. Most of the symptoms caused by estrogen increase the chance of the sperm meeting the egg. The first clue is an increase in sexual desire. Many women start feeling sexually aroused a few days before ovulation. You may even have a heightened sense of smell, especially for male scents. This is your body's way of telling you that it is an opportune time to make a baby. The second symptom caused by estrogen is a change in your cervical position. When sperm enters your body, it must swim through the cervix. The cervix is the organ that connects your vagina to your uterus. Since the cervix is the channel for the sperm to enter the uterus, then estrogen is the facilitator. The channel opens up a few days before ovulation as estrogen rises and then closes after ovulation. There's an easy way to check yourself if the cervix is open. First, insert a clean finger inside your vagina. Before and after ovulation, the cervix will feel firm, like the tip of your nose. The cervix will be low in position. Your finger will not be able to go all the way inside your vagina. The opening of the cervix will feel closed and dry. Around ovulation, the cervix will feel soft, like the texture of your lips. The position will be high. Your finger will be able to go all the way inside your vagina and up into the cervix. The cervical opening will also feel wet and open. To make it easier for sperm to swim through the channel, the cervix also generates mucus. Cervical mucus is the gel or fluid-like discharge from the cervix. Right after your period, mucus will be dry or non-existent. During ovulation, the amount of mucus increases and becomes stretchy and slippery, making it easier for the sperm to swim. The consistency is similar to a raw egg white. To check the mucus yourself, insert a clean finger into the vagina and bring out the mucus. Stretch the mucus between your two fingers and see if it stretches. If so, it is likely that you're ovulating. The rise in estrogen during the first half of the cycle causes the brain to release luteinizing hormone, or LH. This hormone is responsible for triggering the release of the egg from the sac containing it. The egg starts to descend into the fallopian tube into the uterus. The fluid that gets released from the ruptured sac collects in the abdomen and can cause abdominal discomfort. Though the discomfort can be a dull pain that lasts up to 24 hours, it is a perfectly normal symptom of ovulation. Now, let's talk about the symptoms you may experience related to the hormone progesterone. After ovulation, progesterone rises, preparing your uterus for a potential pregnancy. If the egg is fertilized by the sperm, progesterone prepares the uterus for a pregnancy. Progesterone raises the temperature of your body, causing uh, increase in your body temperature called the basal body temperature or BBT. To identify a rise in BBT, take your temperature every morning right after waking up and make a chart of the numbers. Your body temperature is usually low before ovulation and then increases by 0.5 to 1 degree Fahrenheit after ovulation. The temperature will stay high until right before your period. So now that you've familiarized yourself with ovulation symptoms, you may be asking, what if I'm not experiencing any of these symptoms? First off, you're not alone. Many women do not experience most of these symptoms. Some symptoms, such as increased sexual desire, can be quite subjective, 
and it can be difficult to confirm cervical position or mucus consistency all by yourself. In fact, women are often unable to correctly interpret ovulation from their cervical mucus alone. Measuring basal body temperature is a more reliable symptom, but this temperature rise occurs after ovulation, so you've already missed your fertile window. Ovulation symptoms occur because of hormones, so measuring these hormones directly is an extremely accurate indicator of ovulation. That's where Anito comes in. Unlike other fertility trackers that measure just one or two hormones and just say yes or no, Anito is a one-of-a-kind fertility monitor that helps you track all four key fertility hormones at home in less than 10 minutes. With Anito, you can find accurate values of FSH, estrogen, both alpha LH and beta LH, and progesterone metabolite PDG, which tells you if and when you have ovulated. Inito tells you when to test so you stay updated about your fertile window and maximize your chances of conception by trying to conceive when you hit peak fertility. Check in with your hormone levels anytime and track your cycle trends with detailed charts and numbers. You can share your results with medical experts or nutritionists to track your progress and tick off your health goals. Now that you've learned all about the symptoms of ovulation and how Anito can help you confirm ovulation accurately, I hope this empowers you on your conception journey. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe for future videos about Anito and about fertility.